part. Okay. So like, like I had the labels, but I didn't like label the actual Like okay, so and I'm gonna just assume either you have x equals the sine inverse of 16 over 10, or you have the sine of x equals 16 over 10. Either one of those. Oops. I mean tangent. Sorry. Inverse, or you got 10 x equals 16 over 10. So either one of those, if you have like, like the trick function, you have the ratio, then another check. Okay. All right. Then they want the angle. X is approximately 58 degrees. Check for that. Okay. All right, our number two, you need to circle the angle. We should have adjacent and hypotenuse. So if you have it labeled correctly, check. The trig function dealing with adjacent hypotenuse has cosine. So the trig equation is cosine of 17 equals x over 9.7. Check if they have that equation. You could have put it over one. It's the same thing, okay? All right, since x is on top, what did you have to do to solve? Multiply, you have to multiply. Oh, okay, x equals 9 over 9.7. Okay, check. Kevin, are you checking your work? Because you have a pencil in your hand. Oh, okay. All right. Number three. Angle, opposite, hypotenuse. Do they have that labeled? Check. Then they use sine. Sine of 63 equals x over 50. They have that equation. Check. To solve it, since x is on top again, you got to do 50 times sine of 63. So x equals, oh my god. You have to round to the nearest four decimal places. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, 44.5503. be labeled because we're trying to find the angle I'm not going to go straight to doing the inverse whenever you find the x is the angle you do the inverse sine inverse of 7 over 13 check if they did the trig inverse of sine 7 over 13 we're going to round to the nearest hole when we're talking about angle so it's approximately 33 degrees check okay If you have um, nine or more checks, okay, nine or more checks, you're going to add celebration points for each person in your group that has nine or more checks, okay? Nine or more checks. 